The River State Civil Society Organization has criticized Governor Nyesu Mwike over his 500 million naira pledge to help rebuild the Sakoto Central Market, which was gutted by fire, and also the affected traders. Now, it stated that though there was nothing wrong for anyone to commiserate with the victims of the disasters, there were a lot of pressing issues requiring attention in River State. Governor Atiku Bagudu of Kebi State had also donated 30 million to the victims of the Inferno, while affirming that whatever affects Sokoto also concerns River State. Governor Wike said, My administration will do all it takes to ensure that the affected market is reconstructed and becomes functional. Well, joining us to have this conversation uh, from River State, we have Darlington Audrey. He's a former PDP publicity secretary in River State and Enefa Jodrewil. He is the chairman of Rivers Civil Society Organization. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Yeah, good day. Good day, our guests and um, our host. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to start with you, Enefa, because you... Um, granted an interview on a newspaper uh, addressing this situation and of course calling um, that Mr. that the governor, Mr. Wiki, does not give out 500 million, being that you also have problems that 500 million can solve in River State. So, um, but my first question is, where is the money coming from? Is it coming from the River State government? Is it a personal money from the governor? And, and what does the Speaker of the House, or even the House of Assembly, have to say about this? Yeah, um, for, let, let's put on record uh, that for us in the River Civil Society Organization, a um, coalition of very responsible and non-partisan states in the River State, uh, we have no grudge against anyone or corporate entity uh, that choose to come and say this, with the uh, victims of disaster, uh, especially in this case of uh, the unfortunate inferno that got the, um, uh, the over 2,000 lock of shops at, uh, at in Sokoto. So, however, uh, we feel that um, the River State Governor gifting 500 million naira to uh, this figure in Sokoto and uh, demanding that the uh, uh, supporting the division of the market. For us, we think that it is purely high service. And, um, and uh, unnecessary politicking. Mm -hmm. uh, the, reason, the reason why we are saying that is simple. Um, and again, let me say this, John Dibu gifting uh, the citizens of Sokoto 500 million naira. The correct force, look at the distance between Sokoto and Rim and the Captain. But, in less than 14 hours, the governor was defeated and they only gifted them such amount of money. And for us, we think that in the, the proverbial case of uh, a man who has refused to remove the log in his eye, but is very quick to remove the speck in his neighbor's eye. We are saying this because just very recently, in 2019, Specifically in Konkom, in Oyibo local government area. Hmm. The local government that hosts uh, our, our power, our, 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 our uh, electric power distribution center in, in, in River Central, indeed in Nigeria. There was quite a situation. Citizens were roasted, farmlands were destroyed, houses were raised. The governor did not make any statement. Neither did he visit uh, the people of Hong Kong in the local government area. In 2018, the people of Udoda in Aouda West local government area. We are, um, we are attacked I'm by sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Jadru, just hold on. Please, um, Mr. Darlington, turn off your TV set. We can hear a re-echoing, so we can actually, so we can have a great conversation. Please turn off your re your TV. Thank you, uh, Mr. George. Go ahead. In 2018, the people of Budoda in Aouda West local government area were attacked by the military, the army to be precise, because they are looking for some. Uh, 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 illegal uh, 
oil bunkers and refiners. The community was raided, houses were burned. In fact, it looked like uh, a war situation. They came to civil society, we raised alarm, the community people raised alarm, crying over the radio, TV, shouting at the top of their voices. The governor did not visit. Neither did the governor uh, uh, distribute any relief material of the place. Okay. In 2016, the people of Uju community in upper Egbema local government area was attacked by security agents because they were looking for members of street gangs. The entire community was carpeted. As I speak to you, the people of Uju are scattered all over the city. They okay. shouted, they cried. So, darling, in, 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 in January, yeah. in, in January 2020. I'm sorry to cut in, but you're saying all of this to say that the governor did not respond to these people and they were not given any help. But yet, the money is being given to Sakoto. I'll come back. I'll, I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you, George Will. Darlington, I want to ask this question. Governor Wike had said something, and I want to quote him directly. He said, "Anything that affects Sakoto also concerns River State." What do you think that the governor meant by this? Because George Rule has just reeled out a number of things that have happened um, in River State and some communities that did not even get any form of help or respite, according to him, from the governor. So when the governor says something, if something happens in Sakoto, it concerns River State, what do you think the governor meant by that? Well, let me thank you for giving me the privilege to clear some of these uh, unfunded uh, stories that are making way. The truth of the matter is that any federal mill have forgotten that my one market was gutted by fire and that uh, food garden was also gutted by fire. And what happened? Governor Wicker, in his prudent nature, ran to assist the uh, traders to make sure that those places were rebuilt. And uh, it's high time our people should stop politicking with everything and understand that Governor Wicker was voted into power to take decision on behalf of River State. And that in doing that, he has to bring us into connect. He has to cross bridges and make good decisions that will take us to the next level. You know, governance is all about partnering with people. No one state can function without her neighbor state or neighboring state. So for me, the gesture that was made on Sokoto people is a proof that in government and governance, you must build bridges across. I'd like, to ask, I'd, I'd like to ask Darlington, permit me, I'm so sorry to talk over you. Uh, you just mentioned that um, Governor Wike was voted in to take decisions for the River State people. Who voted Governor Wike in? And is Sakwato a neighboring state, really, if we have to do some geography this evening? No, understand the point, that, understand the point I'm trying to make. What I'm saying, in essence, is that no one state can function alone. There must be a connect, there must be a partnership, and there must be partnering in progress to make sure that your state succeeds. And if the governor in his magnanimity has said that he has to reach out to Sokoto people, remember, we have no regrets when we say that Sokoto people are brothers. We have supported them in the time past and will continue to support them. Sokoto state is not the only state that the governor has, you know, uh, method out this kind of gesture. Remember what happened in Bailey State <laughs> during the massacre of the herdsmen. The governor in his magnanimity offered a hand of fellowship for them. This, our people would have been complaining if these things are only done outside the state and our people are neglected. I'll give you an example. I said that my one market was gutted with fire, fruit garden was gutted with fire, and at the end of the day, the governor went there, reduced and allocated for free. Today, all those areas and are how taken back. Biden. And how Don't many, order. how many, so, how many support or how many governors outside of you know the South South region gave monies to help the governor to you, rebuild you, to rebuild that market? Don't forget, Darlington. I was in Port Harcourt at the time, so let's stay factual. No, I, I want you to understand the point. You know that everything that has to do with river state is always blown out of proportion. If any person has a standard hands of fellowship to our people, how do we know? Must the governor or the government of River State come public to announce to everybody? And these are critics. Though, so even though it is good for governance, because without critics, it will not make a good headway. So, for me, 
The point I'm trying to make is that NFI just way and his people shouldn't be bothered. The governor has been voted into power to take decision on behalf of the people. The governor has been asked by rivers people to connect us around. And you never can tell the relationship we have with Sokoto State government and other parts of uh, Nigeria. So uh, uh, state, I, like I'm giving you an example, it's not the only state where the governor has given the right to the chance of fellowship. So for me, everything that this governor has done must always be seen politically. But we are not bothered by that. What we should be bothered about is that if he has abandoned governance in River State, has he abandoned governance? The answer is no. The man is providing social amenities, the man is providing good road network, the man is taking the dividend of democracy to the doorstep okay. of the common man. Okay. So our uh, people should not play politics with everything. We should sympathize with our, our, our neighbors when they have this kind of situation. Okay, Darlington, back to you, NFA. Um, I know you want to say something, but quickly, yes, I, yes, I, let, me, yes. let, let me just say, yes, Governor Wike is called uh, in certain for uh, the Mr. Projects per se, and, and I'm not in any way trying to, you know, say something in support of the governor, but people have said that Governor Wike is Mr. Projects, and he's done a lot of things for the people of River State, but if you and some other group of people, especially civil society, are complaining that he's not done a lot, what are the specific things that you think that 500 million, the 500 million that has been sent to Sakoto or will be sent to Sakoto could have been used for in River State other than what you have stated before now? Uh, that, is, that, was why, that was why I was reading out things that he didn't do so that it will not give me a background to respond to you and of course to all of us at the judge of our issues have raised. Just in 2018, the oil and gas bearing communities of Orachi region that bring billions of naira to the River State government and the federal government on monthly basis was ravaged by predicted fraud. This Nimet predicted this fraud in 2018. It, it destroyed some land, it destroyed livelihood, it, 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 it erased the level of, of an entire uh, 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 people and, and region of a state. We, put, we, we, we led the protest to the Russian people to government house, and the response we got from government was that we have, we have so sorted that the, the local people, the other people, the old women that came with pots and mortar to sleep in government house, we have so sorted by opposition. Those people are not taking, are not surprised with the political talk uh, are labeled by, by uh, Dalitin. But let us, let, let us say this that governance is not all about cosmetics. Government is all about arismaroli. Government is all about doing fancy and, and promoting it in the media. Government is about the poor of the ordinary people. If you cannot, if you cannot beat it, the ravaged communities in Orashi and oil and gas bearing communities that bring billion, billions of naira to your people, and you don't even hear mark, clear cut. Uh, 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 way of okay. questioning the effect of the fraud. One degree of wonder. The so-called, the so-called uh, 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 Mr. Project. Let me tell you as we speak that pensioners are retirees in River State. I'm not talking their gratuity. No human being has been promoted. As okay. I talk to you now, okay. no River State students have received bursary since the inception of this regime. As okay. I speak to you now, River students who went to law school, always sent from government to assist them. Nothing for those law All right, students. NFA, I speak uh, to you. Unfortunately, have, no, unfortunately you. gentlemen, we have, we have, we're, we're out of time. Students, we have our students. Gentlemen. We have our well, unfortunately, we're out of time. I had so many questions to ask, but um, I'm hoping that uh, if you want to take this forward, that you would go through you know, the right measures, um, go through the House of Assembly and ask for accountability. But I want to thank you, gentlemen. Um, Darlington Oji is the former PDP um, uh, Publicity Secretary in River State, and uh, Nefa um, George Rill is the Chairman, River Civil Society Organization in River State. We have to go now. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for speaking with us. All right, well, we'll take a short break and we'll take a look at what Nigerians have to say about Joe Biden winning the elections and taking his place as the new president of the United States. And when we come back, I'll give you my take. We've 
it's a very good one for Nigeria, especially. While I was going through my Twitter feed today, I actually saw a news where they stated that he lifted a visa ban on Nigeria. And that, I think that's a very good way to start. And I believe the relationship between America and Nigeria now will be cordial, more than the way it was when Trump was the president. That's my thing. I've heard rumors that he's going, uh, Joe Biden is going to be better than Trump. So I don't know. I don't know him too. So we don't know what he will bring. Anyway, we're just expecting the best from him too. I think it will be beneficial for, for Nigerians like us because, you know, when Donald Trump was there, not many Nigerians went to America because of what you think they are doing there. But for Joe Biden, I think he will be okay for us. For me, I don't like that Biden personally, but I don't know, I just like that Trump of a guy. People say he's arrogant though, but for me personally, he's my kind of person. Uh, Biden is the change and he should do it. It's a pity Trump did that, but whatever it is, I think we should always be dignified in defeat or loss, in victory and loss. That's what I think. I, I welcome Biden. Whatever it comes, I know if you follow the due process, you'll get the proceeds of any administration. Joe Biden as a new president of the United States will... America, the poster child for democracy across the world, has stepped into a new era, with Biden leading the charge for a new America. And yes, we on this side of the Atlant Atlantic are applauding, yes, and we say how amazing and strong the democracy is. But when will we begin to at least achieve the basics of a democracy, like press freedom, like justice and fair play, peaceful protest and demanding accountability from public office holders? When and only when we normalize these things, then we can say we're truly practicing a democracy. Americans made America what it is today, and we're all running to America. But it's time that we Nigerians decide to make our Nigeria what we want it to be. And that's my take. I am Mary Anakon, thanking you for watching. Do have a good evening.